Maria, let's discuss how we can perform batch inference with LLMs on Databricks. Uh, so why do we care about this? And actually, first of all, can you explain just very quickly for those who don't know, what is batch inference exactly? Yes, so batch inference is when you have collected a couple of data points, like a batch of data, and you want to perform some operations on top, some cleaning, some pre-processing, but you don't care about the latency. You don't care about this being real time at any point. So you collect some data, you apply your operations, and you write your data out. So on, in terms of LLMs now, we've seen a lot of customers wanting and struggling to perform LLM inference in an optimal way. So this means instead of them having to go to hugging face, download models, and upload them on Databricks, run them in a scalable way on GPUs, and etc., they wanted to use our model serving with provisional throughput or paper token models in a very optimal way. And that was why the AI query was created, which is a building Databricks SQL function in which now you can go and hit behind the scenes our model serving endpoints serving LLMs, either with throughput or paper token. Awesome. And so what are my options when using AI query with uh, model serving for batch inference? Yes, yeah, so we have two options. If you've used LLMs on Databricks, you would see that we have the paper token. So you pay with how many tokens you are giving in and out. And also the throughput, which is more for production workloads. So if you are experimenting, you can use the AI query with the paper token models. But when you are happy to take this into a more production stage and it's a more recurrent job that you need, as a batch job again, then you can use it with the throughput models, which is more stable and more in production mode. Awesome. Should we do a quick demo to see how easy it is to use? Yes. So here we are on Databricks. And if you go to your serving tab, you can choose your LLM that you want to use with AI query. And now we have this option now use for batch inference. So if you click that, it straight takes you to Databricks SQL, and then you can start putting your fields, right? So what is the input column that you want to perform your LLM job on? This is the AI query function we are going to hit. This is the model that we're going to use, in this case, Llama 3.1. And then we're saying, this is the prompt. You have to pass your prompt here and the column on which to apply the prompt on. And then what is the name of the output column and the table you want to get the data from? Here I have done another query that does this. So I'm just collecting a couple of rows from a, ta a table. And then what I'm doing is uh, I have replaced these values with real values. So I'm saying, okay, given this date and given this model, then my prompt is, could you, you know, given the date that is coming into the feed, could you tell me if it's the morning, afternoon, evening, given the fact that morning is between six and et cetera, afternoon is la 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 la, and call it a part of day. So you'll see here, for example, uh, the, the LM having answered the hour is 14, which falls between 20 and now, therefore it's afternoon. This is just an example, right? Of course, you can do whatever you want. You can pass any prompt and it's uh, up to you to define the job you want to do. That is on Databricks SQL. Now, you can do the same with Spark as well. So if you, if I share this tab now, here you can see how you can query that on Spark. So what you have is you have to construct the same thing as we did on SQL query, uh, which is, you know, this my query query function, I'm concatenating the prompt with input column, and then any other model parameters I'm passing, like temperature and etc. And then you apply this operation to your data, and then you can write it as the data frame. So now the AI query can be used as a bad job on a Spark a cluster or on a Databricks, que on a Databricks SQL query.